In the north of Chile lies a place like no other, a vast expanse of arid landscapes where the soil is very similar to that on Mars. Excluding polar regions, we are currently in the driest place on Earth, the Atacama Desert. We don't know it yet, but we are about to witness some of the most beautiful landscapes that we've ever seen in our lives. Memories will be captured, but with a twist. So keep watching and embark on this discovery ride with us. So, as we explored the Atacama Desert, we decided to implement a bit of a competition between Hayden and myself. The loser will have to sleep in the car in the middle of the desert, whilst the winner will be comfortably sleeping in an accommodation. So the competition includes taking five different photos with our phones of animal, mountain, lagoon, something that represents the Chilean experience and the wild card, which is whatever we want it to be. And you might ask yourself, hmm, Solen, who's gonna be the judge? <laughs> We're gonna ask five different strangers to uh, pick which photo they prefer from each category. Best of luck to me. <laughs> and hate it. All I know is that win or lose, we are actually going to be going on an insane adventure. So please keep watching and see how we go. Good morning, the Upshot family. <laughs> After a first amazing day in the Atacama Desert yesterday, um, today we're going to focus more on the lagoon. So we're going to the Chaxa Lagoon, I think it's called, where we can find, well, a lagoon and flamingos. So let's cross fingers. Uh, we're gonna be able to take amazing shots, especially me. Uh, I think we mentioned it, but the Atacama Desert is well known for its drastic temperature change during the same day. This morning it was like 8 degrees, 4 degrees, and today I think it's gonna be 25, full sun. So we're all geared up, but under we have uh, some lighter clothes. So let's see how the day goes. We're ready for other amazing landscapes. Hayden? Yeah. We stopped on the side of the road because we saw. V oh, what's the name? Vacusa? No. no, it's Nya. Vicurnia. V v They're basically a mix <laughs> between deers and alpacas. So. Yes. I'm gonna get the best shot of the ah! animal. Guna Chaxa, 
and the idea with this one is that we're sincerely hoping to see some flamingos but even from this distance there are quite a few yeah it's only going to cost us what's that 20 bucks 20 bucks i think yeah. 20 bucks very excited had a nice little informational tour from a one of the local guides everything was in spanish but for some reason i actually seem to understand almost everything so and then we're at our first little lake a bit of water oh yeah good water yeah okay. These flamingos feed on the brine shrimp and algae in the salt lakes, which gives them those incredible colours. These birds are so well adapted to the Atacama Desert that it blows our minds because they can drink the salt water even when it's near boiling point. That was amazing. It was beautiful. I think both of both of us can't really believe that we were in this place at this exact moment. I don't know. There was no one there. Like we were the only people around. Um, occasionally listening to the sound of the flamingos was really quite an experience mm -hmm. in itself. Seeing them fly was also really cool because you could see all the colors on their wings, like the black, the pink, the white. It was beautiful. Now. We are not sure what's next to come. Uh, we might go to another laguna, we'll see. I think I got a nice shot of the lagoon. It's gonna be a bit more alternative than the lagoon, but it's part of the lagoon, so we'll see. Uh, oh. Where are your photos, Hayden? Where are you at? Where, oh, where am I at? Yeah. So I've got to try and figure out a new strategy of getting closer to animals. Um, so the animal side of things could be interesting. Lagoon doesn't look too bad. Um, possible wild card, but I'm, that's probably just going to we'll be see. lagoon. Card, so. I think we're going to be close. I think you've got amazing ideas. He's really funny because he thinks he's gonna win, but I am. I've got the skills. We decided to do a quick stop in Laguna Tibing Quinche, and even though there's no flamingos here, the reflection of the mountains in the lagoon is amazing. It cost us 10,000 pesos to enter this national park. One of the things that I have noticed about this uh, particular area is that there is almost no wind. There is not a single sound outside of the words that are coming out of my mouth and anyone else nearby. There is nothing. It is so peaceful and so tranquil. It's, it's almost really surprising. Like it just, it feels different. I'm absolutely loving the Atacama Desert right now. Good morning. We're the day after yesterday. We're going to see the geyser. It's now 4.30 a.m. And uh, hopefully the geysers are going to be nice because I don't wake up at this time often. It is cold. The road to the Tatio geysers from San Pedro takes about two hours. In the dark, with only headlights and the slow rising sun, we couldn't see where the winding roads were taking us. While driving there, first light gave us an opportunity to see what was around us. And with temperatures dropping below minus 18 degrees Celsius, I decided I wanted to attempt my wildcard shot. Now, look at me. Last one. I think I got some good one. <laughs> yeah. The opportunity that we have to be here is just, yeah, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I'm really tired as well. 
These are the highest geysers in the world at 4,000 meters above sea level. Geysers are a volcanic geothermal field with water and steam erupting from deep underground. Being here at 6 a.m. meant we arrived before the crowds. The sunrise and open landscape felt like a once in a lifetime experience. Honestly, it was worth the two hours drive here. Coming here first thing in the morning was one of the best decisions I think we've made in the desert so far because the lighting just made everything way more dramatic. And also from what I've read online, the geysers are just way more active in the morning. So totally worth waking up at 4 a.m. And uh, hopefully the geysers are going to be nice. It's a must go to if you're coming to the Atacama. It 100%. Is, it is a must go. -to. Now I think we're going to take the rest of the afternoon really chill to plan the rest of our trip. <laughs> So it's our last full day in Atacama, which means it's our last full day of shooting before someone sleeps in the desert. So the plan for the day is going to the Moon Valley, trying to finish up some last shots that we need, and then we're gonna go into the city and ask strangers who they think had the best pictures. I'm kind of nervous about that asking the strangers thing. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fun. Oh well, Let's off go. to the Moon Valley. mountain shot I've been trying to take it's just it's just not it <laughs> it's just not it like I think you might win the mountain shot but for me I'm like I don't see it like this is beautiful but on this this is shit she doesn't think she's going to win this one but she does have a better camera on her phone so we'll see how we go <laughs> just stopped in a bar to start and edit our photos. We have 30 minutes. Let's go. 
May the best winner win. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so sort of stressed out. I just, just, okay. We both risk in sleeping. Okay. So here is how our competition was going to work. We were looking for five people to individually select their favorite photos from each category by choosing photo number one or photo number two, and they didn't know who were taking which photo. So for Sol or myself to win a vote, three or more of our photos from the judge had to be ticked off. And the contestant who had the most votes at the very end is the one that gets to sleep in a bed. So with Chileans and French people deciding our fate, we anxiously waited to count the results. If I lose, I sleep in the desert. Uh, if I, if I, I got it. You, you win on that one. I cannot believe this. Ah, uh, so you win on this one. Bruno, dos. You. Two, that's you, Dolin. Okay. So, one, one. I won. Like, based on the photos that I sent through, I did not expect that everyone would have voted. I did not expect to get anywhere near winning. Sorry. I am sorry, but you have to sleep in the car tonight. Maybe just for two hours? No. <laughs> I'm going in the car. <coughs> it's really cold. <laughs> Cow in the blanket, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I'm tired. It's like 12 and a half in the morning. Because it's so late or very early, I'm not going to drive the car, so I'm just going to sleep in the car tonight in the parking lot of the hostel. <laughs> I can't bother. <laughs> so tired. So, night night. Congratulations, Hayden. <laughs> okay, three degrees. I'm alone. Let's see how much time I can survive in this temperature outside of the car. See you in the morning. Uh, so Sol wasn't able to last the night, unfortunately. She uh, she bailed at around... Exactly 3 a.m. It's really cold. And uh, this is what's been left behind. I think she did a good attempt, but um, yeah, 100%, she just simply needed more things to keep her warm. <laughs> Poor thing. Ugh. Super stoked with the uh, the win last night, but um, uh, honestly, it was just amazing to meet all those people, and um, yeah, I, I've had a, an incredible time in Atacama. If you ever come to Chile, highly recommend coming here, because it is just people the place the place is just un freaking believable the scenery changes every couple of minutes it's just beautiful after a really shitty night in the car <laughs> well half a night i am being rewarded with cute dog okay what hello hayden from the future here Thank you so much for watching this video. It was an amazing experience to go through. Please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really, really helps us. And once you've subscribed, here's a sneak peek to the next video.